Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we are going to start our class, um, pronunciation and speech. So this class, pronunciation and speech, and we will start with page number 25. We will start answering question 902. Not, not answering, but I will explain question number uh, 9.2 and 9.3, uh, page number 25 and then we will um, we will talk about stress word stress and prominence and possibly if we have time we'll discuss homework now one thing that I have to tell you is that now the the homework that I gave you in previous time I will not do it now because simply you have three days before your submission and I don't want to answer the questions and then you just take my answers and put them on there uh, homework and submit them. So I will wait until next time, then I'll do the homeworks that we did last time. Okay, so let's start with page 25, pronunciation and speech, question uh, 9.2. Listen and repeat phrase one in column A with a slight pause between the two speech units. Then listen and repeat phrase one in column B, making sure you run the words together without the pause. Then do the same for phrases from 2 to 10. Notice that the underlined clusters are the same in column A and B. <clears throat> Some underlined consonant clusters in column B are simplified. Try to make the same simplification when you repeat, when you repeat them. See the key for details of simplifications. Okay, so in this exercise, this is just an exercise that you have to do at home. What you, are, what you need to do is to listen to this uh, recording that I will provide, and then you have to read column A, and then you read column B. You read sentence by sentence. For example, you read, Jack was in the audience trying not to laugh. Now, when you read column A, you have to give a pose. When you read audience trying, you give a pose, but when you go and read column B, you have to make a simplification, meaning that you have to make a, an addition or a change to, to the letters of, of these two words, freelance translator. So let's, let's listen to the recording first, and then we will comment on this. So we have recording number <clears throat> 36. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Listen carefully, please. Nine point two. One. Jack was in the audience, trying not to laugh. She's a freelance translator. Two. The ring looked very elegant, sparkling in the sunlight. The president spoke next. Three. Here's some milk. Drink it now. She wore a silk dress. Four. I hear you on the contract. Great news. It looked green to me. Five. If you're going to the coast, fly there. It's on the first floor. Six. If you find any of my old books, throw them away. He speaks three languages. Seven. It's got two bedrooms, slightly small. Lift your arm slowly. Eight. It's very old, Bridget says. There was a cold breeze. Nine. There was a footprint, small like a child's. What's that unpleasant smell? Ten. It was 
is sad in some parts, humorous in others. It's huge. Okay. Now, what you need to do is to, you know, uh, repeat and say what this person says in this recording. Uh, the, the point of this exercise is to practice, you know, saying consonant clusters across the words and at the same time to to know how to say it when you give it a pose or when you say the, the words continuously. For example, when you say, let's go to example number, <clears throat> uh, I want to take example number eight. Okay, go to example number eight. If I read the first sentence, A, it's very old, it's very old bridge, says. Here I read it slowly and with a pose. It's very old bridge, says. Now, if we go to the next, to the next one, on column B, I will read it quickly here. There was a, there was a cold, a cold breeze. There was a cold breeze. There was a cold breeze. Now, here, if you notice that the D is transformed into a B or a soft B, simply because here we have consonant clusters uh, across the words, and here we have simplification or uh, simply the D is transformed into a B. So we read it as there was a cold brie, cold brie. Now, what you need to do, listen to every sentence said by the recording and say it yourself. That's the exercise that you're supposed to do. Now, the next one, which is 9.3, match a word from box A, from box A with a word from box B to make compound nouns. Say the compound loud, making sure that you run the words in the compound together. So you have compound A and you have compound B. So you have to match them. Um, so say the compounds aloud, making sure that they run the words in the compound together. So simply you have to, to match between column A and column B to make the words match. For example, I'll choose one example or two examples and then you'll, you'll do the rest. For example, blood poisoning. Here, the blood and poisoning go together. They are, these are compound words. What are other compound words that you can find between column A and column B? For example, let's take um, golf club. Golf club. So golf goes with the word club. Okay, so golf club. Golf club, that's another compound uh, word. Now, what you need to do is to combine these two words together from column A and column B, okay? And then listen and check your answers. Repeat the compounds making the same simplification of consonant clusters where these occur. Now I'll put the recording, but you are supposed to do it first before you do the recording. But the recording will help you know these compound words. Now uh, that's, that's all for exercise.